today is my probably I would consider it's the fourth day of my travel and um, I'm gonna have a tour today in Armenia we're gonna go to a few places to experience like um, ski and all the things and monasteries as well so I'm just waiting for the tour to uh, tour guide to come and pick me um, it's around 9 to 9 9 30 to 10 and it's just like 9 30 so while waiting I'm just gonna have my breakfast they don't serve food here so that's the downside of living or like stay in an apartment is that they don't uh, serve breakfast so what I'm gonna have is like the half of the bread that I have yesterday so I just reheated it and I'm gonna um, eat that and just Red Bull because I still feel like super sleepy okay <laughs> So their doorbell scared the hell out of me. So the thing is that I bought wine yesterday, uh, as you can see in my vlog. So uh, they have everything here in this apartment: stove, plate, uh, all everything you name it, except for a corkscrew, which I really needed because I bought wine and I can't open wine without a corkscrew. Because see. Um, I thought it was just gonna be the normal one that you're just gonna twist but no it has cork in it so I wasn't able to like have like wine yesterday which I really wanted to so hopefully tonight I'll be I'll be done like oh my gosh I feel so like hot I'm just gonna remove my jacket first because I'm not yet outside and it's warm in this room so I'm just gonna remove and like have my breakfast right now so the tour guide said he's already here so I'm going down I'm just in the elevator so we've already arrived to our first like stop. Um, this is genocide, Armenia, and the view is very amazing. From the president of Georgia, Salome Zorabakov. Prime Minister of Georgia. This is from, from Brazil. Georgia. This is from Brazil. So we are now inside this genocide um, museum. This is the center. So um, he said that. Uh, like a lot of years back, um, a lot of Armenian people were killed by the Turkish people, so they made this museum to uh, remember. melted so I think it's already wet. The view here is so amazing. I like at the back are the mountains. Still has snow. It's not that cold anymore. It's tolerable. This is the Armenian alphabet. the alphabet of Armenia is it's so beautiful here like oh my gosh I can live here forever I'm so happy so we are now at Savo Sagmosavank monastery this is a real church it's from the 12th century, so it's very like old. monastery is I offered a prayer and this is where like the cliff the view so beautiful. I'm 
going back, I'm gonna buy a candle because I want to take it to the Philippines as a remembrance. And the name of this is Hovana Bang. Yeah. In English, it's Saint John the Baptist. Oh, okay. Yes. This is like fresh and it tastes so good, I swear. Hovana Bang in English. Um, it's St. John the, ba the Baptist Church. So right now it's April, so um, they are covering the, the spores because of the Holy Week, so I cannot see like what is in there, but after like April, they're gonna remove it. They'll do a big mass here. It's a very nice place. Their monasteries are like small, but it's really nice. So it's very meaningful for Armenia, like the monasteries, because um, Armenia is the only country who has all like. Christian religion living here and like this is also like the first Christian country in the whole world so um, it's very like their monasteries and all these landmarks are very um, meaningful so I'm really grateful that I got to experience this right here it's very nice it just feels like um, like meaningful i can't find a different way how to describe it but like yeah it's very good and i'm so happy that i get to experience all this right now it was telling me that this wood is like so old um it's made of walnut um this church or monastery is like from fourth century so it's been like hundreds of years back and like this is like the original wood that they had from the very beginning and they preserved it so it's really nice i'm gonna go buy a candle i want to light a candle and bring also home to philippines Mother of Armenia. There's a big monument um, behind me, and like this place has like from the war since long time ago, and they preserved it, and it's all displayed here in this area. See, like the war tanks. Um, market. This is where the area where you can buy like souvenirs, a lot of it. So it's such a big place. And lots of shops. I already bought like a few stuff for like a remembrance of my trip. So I'm already good. So I'm just finding my way home. It's very near to this place. So I'm just walking. It's a really nice experience for this day. I really liked it a lot. Public Square so there is this monument right here but I don't really know what it is for because like nobody's here to tell me so I'm walking right now 
Um, I'm at Red Republic Square. So it's all of this. It's very hot, but cold at the same time. So it's really nice. So I'm already walking towards my home. I kind of got lost earlier, but I was just like really analyzing the building that I saw, like the landmarks where my place is. So finally I got my way. So I'm just gonna stay home and shower up. Like I haven't really bought a comb, so I don't know how I'm gonna figure out um, how will I do my hair later. But I'm planning in the night, I'm gonna go um, to a nightclub. So it seems interesting so I'm just gonna rest for the whole afternoon maybe find a place to eat later I was also thinking of going to like a massage spa here I wanted to try it because the tour guide was telling me like it's a good one here so I'm gonna figure out later what I'm gonna do but right now I just really need to take a shower but this is like the hallway um, right to that area is where the Republic Square is so I'm already near my building so this is how the mountain looks like like if it's really really like having a good weather so earlier in the morning when I have the tour um, the, the weather near the mountain was really like cloudy so I wasn't able to uh, take the full view of the mountain but at least like there was some view there but yeah right now it's really sunny and you can see like the mountain is full of snow it's so beautiful so right now i'm back in the apartment so i really need to take a rest and take a shower because like my hair situation is really like really bad i haven't bought a comb um, hopefully i can still vlog in the night but if i can't then i'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching my travel vlogs tomorrow is gonna be another um, day tour hopefully it will be a fun one as well as uh, fun as it was today I'll see you guys tomorrow and thank you so much for watching and I love you so much bye